Why can't we just tell them what they want to hear? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again? I said, why do we have to tell the people what they need to hear? Why can't we just tell them what they want to hear? And what do they want to hear, Ron? That we live in the greatest country God ever created. Damn straight! Made him happy. And we should do stories on, on patriots. Cute, funny little animals. Huh? Uh, diets. Uh, why blondes have more fun. And serious investigative pieces mm -hmm. about how much ejaculate is on hotel duvets. And only the best sports highlights. Home runs, slam dunks, touchdowns, and no soccer. I like the wind. Brick's right. History are rarely aware of it while doing so. Ron and his news team simply thought they were making the news more fun. Little did they know they were changing the course of broadcast history forever. Hello, America. It's 2 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm Ron Burgundy, and tonight's top story is America. She is the greatest country in the world. Back the history of the world. You're damn right! Woo! Too much of the news is about what's wrong with America. Amen, brother! Well, tonight our top story is what's right with America. Then we finally talking sense on the TV. For starters, we kick butt. Nazi butt. Russian butt. What the hell's he doing? He's talking about America. Why do you have a problem with that? Tonight I begin part one of my 11-part series of the power and mystery of the human vagina. This series will be a tasteful look at just what makes a vagina tick, as well as a look at the 50 greatest vaginas of the 20th century. Son of a bitch! One final question I'll let you go. Who tops the list of the top 50 greatest vaginas? Well, I don't want to give anything uh. away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had you. <laughs> I will give you number two. Please. Madame Curie. Of course. Of course. Whammy! 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 Back to you, Ron. The wind has, is really windy. Brick, Brick, can you hear me? I can't hear you, Ron. Okay, but you're, you're answering the question, so I think you can hear me. No, I can't. Brick, do you think there's any danger to the average person out there? I'm afraid for the animals of New York, Ron. I saw a woman and her dog was not, never touched the ground. You're saying wind gusts as fast as a supersonic jet. It looked like she was walking a dog balloon. And go switch. And for our eighth and final animal story of the night, it looks like residents of North Yolk, Montana have found the cutest little patriot on God's green earth. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Oh, wow, he was having some fun. Well, for all of us here at GNN, I'm Ron Burgundy. Don't just have a great night, have an American night.